from 21st through 25th place in order. Joey Gase with 159 points, Eric McClure with 153, Mike Bliss 141, Harrison Rhodes with 130, and Jeffrey Earnhardt with 118. Manufacturer standings in the Xfinity Series as follows. First place is Ford with 401 points. Second place, Chevrolet with 392 points and 9 points back. Third place, Toyota with 380 points, 21 points back. And fourth place, Dodge with 112 points, 289 points back. Alright. Racing Podcast, and now for the Camping World Truck Series. Driver standings, top 10 as follows. First place is Matt Crafton in the 88 truck, 128 points, current leader. Second place is Tyler Reddick in the 19 truck, 126 points, 2 points back. Third place, Eric Jones in the number 4 truck, 122 points, and 6 points back. Fourth place, Johnny Souda in the 98 truck, 112 points, 16 points back. Fifth place, James Bouchard in the 31 truck, 100 points, 28 points back. Sixth place, John West Townley in the 05 truck, 90 points, 38 points back. Seventh place, Ray Black Jr. in the 07 truck, 89 points, 39 points back. Eighth place is Cameron Haley in the 13 truck, 84 points, 44 points back. Ninth place, Spencer Gallagher in the 23 truck, 84 points, 44 points back. And in 10th place, Ben Kennedy in the 11 truck, 83 points, 45 points back. From 11th through 15th place, in order. Timothy Peters with 81 points, Tyler Young with 78, Justin Boston with 77, Corbin Forrester with 77, and Daniel Hamrick with 75. 16th through 20th place in order. Brian Sealess with 73 points, Jennifer Jo Cobb with 64, Matt Tift with 60, Norm Benning with 59, and Joe Nemechek with 58. And from fifth, and from 21st through 25th place, in order. Caleb Holman with 50 points, Travis Cavapo with 41, Mason Mingus with 39, Austin Terriard with 31, and Cody Ware with 31. Manufacturer standings for Camping World Truck as follows. First place is Ford with 135 points. Second place is Toyota with 133 points, uh, two points back. Third place, Chevrolet with 120 points, 15 points back. And fourth place is Ram with zero points, 135 points back. Boy, I don't know what, what's happening with Fiat Chrysler. They need to get back into it. That's what I say, you know. I know people that drive Dodge. Dodge and Chrysler guy people, like, you know, what's the deal? I'm a Chevy guy, but I'm going to rub it in. <laughs> but uh, Ford dominating uh, KB1 trucks this year. Last year, Toyota had it, but Toyota's not far behind. I mean, they're only back, they're only down two points, you know what I'm saying? And uh, KB1 trucks, I mean, seems relatively young for the trucks. I mean, they only raced like a couple of races so far this year compared to Xfinity and Sprint Cup. But we'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Racing Podcast. Quick break. We'll come back and start the final stretch segment. Go a little bit of racing news, recap the schedule. You know the deal. The Racing Podcast continues next.
Welcome back, everybody, to the program, The Racing Podcast. So we'll go over uh, briefly some racing news, and then we'll recap the schedule. And it's a wrap. So, Kevin Bono Mannion. Okay, Kevin Mannion will be Sam Harnish Jr.'s new crew chief. Sam Harnish Jr., which drives the number 9 Richard Petty Motorsports Ford. Kevin Mannion will be taking over this weekend at this Saturday Sprint Cup, uh, SpongeBob 400 uh, at Kansas. So, there's some news there. Kevin Mannion was Alex, has been Alex Bowman's crew chief uh, for nine races this season and has been crew chief for 328 Sprint Cup races with five wins, including the 2010 Daytona 500. Uh, Minion also has 15 Xfinity Series wins. Winner of the 2010 uh, Daytona 500, Jamie McMurray, and uh, he started the race in 13th. Ryan Newman is scheduled to race in Friday's Camper World Truck Event and Saturday's Sprint Cup Event at Kansas. Decision has been made in the final appeal of Richard Childress uh, Racing's uh, final appeal. Uh, that's what I've heard so far from NASCAR. Uh, I got updated from the NASCAR, and they said the decision has been made, but uh, they really didn't embellish on the details. So I'll keep my eyes and ears open for that one. Kevin Harvick is going back to the old school paint scheme for Darlington. Uh, old school paint and uh, spread cup racing to he- heads to Darlington on September the 6th and uh, Napa Auto Parts will be primary sponsor for Chase Elliott and the number 24 team in 2016 Chase Elliott of course taking over in the 24 car in 2016 after the, the retirement of Jeff Gordon the three year deal between Napa Auto Parts and the number 24 team was announced on Tuesday in Las Vegas. And next year, Chase Elliott will be a Sunoco Rookie of the Year. And the 2015 Monaco Grand Prix, don't want to miss that one. Uh, the Monaco Grand Prix, Sunday, May 24th at 7.30 a.m. in the morning. Eastern Time, and that is on NBC. And the Kentucky Derby results. Uh, win place show, uh, number 18, American Pharaoh, driven by Victor Espinosa, owner Bob Baffert. The number 10, Firing Line, comes in for place, uh, Gary Stevens, uh, behind the wheel, if you will. Simon Callaghan is uh, the owner. And then uh, show is number 8, Dortmund, Driven by Martin Garcia and uh, Bob Baffert, the owner there. So, American Pharaoh comes in for the win, firing line for place, and uh, Dortmund for show. And the Preakness is Saturday, May the 16th, post time at 6.05. As the, uh, the second leg of the Triple Crown... And then, of course, after that, the big one at Belmont Racetrack, which uh, opened already April 29th. Of course, the Belmont Stakes, which is uh, in June. Uh, don't have the exact dates yet, but I will keep that, uh, make sure to get that to you. And uh, horse racing is always a little fun. And if you live on Long Island, you know, spend a day at Belmont, you'll have a good time. You don't got to play the ponies. You can just go and relax and, you know, just, you know, it, it's a good place to hang out, you know. So, let's go over the, the schedule one more time, and it's a wrap. Good stuff. So, Friday night, this weekend's Camping World Truck Event, Friday night, May the 8th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on Fox Sports 1 and MRN. It's the Toyota Tundra 250, with 167 laps scheduled. Then on Saturday night is this weekend's Sprint Cup event. Saturday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Fox Sports 1 and MRN. It's the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 with 267 laps scheduled. And hopefully the weather cooperates so we can actually get some Saturday night racing in this weekend. And uh, again, 267 laps scheduled and both races from Kansas. 
Now, Friday, May 15th at 7 p.m., it's the Sprint Showdown with 40 laps scheduled, and that's on Fox Sports 1 and MRN. And then Saturday, May 16th at 7 p.m., it's the NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race with 90 laps scheduled, also on Fox Sports 1 and MRN. And actually, that weekend, Xfinity Racing is on Sunday, actually, that weekend, which will be, let's see, uh, May 17th, actually, is the next Xfinity race, and they're at Iowa, but we'll talk about that next Thursday here at the Racing Podcast. So, ladies and gentlemen, we pulled a little overtime tonight, but that's all right. Always having a good time. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. And remember, tell all your friends, the Racing Podcast, Thursday nights at 7.05. If the schedule changes by any means, uh, Twitter is the best place, at Manny All. That's where I post all information regarding the podcast right there. The best place to get me. You can do Facebook, but Twitter is better. I like Twitter better, but shh. I finally got away from the Candy Crush people. I finally figured out how to get away from the Candy Crush Saga people that have been inundating me with requests to play Candy Crush Saga. And it's like, you know, now, you know, if you got the Facebook app, right? You get the little Facebook app, the little number with the circle, tell you got how many messages you got. I could get like five messages and four before Candy Crush Saga, which I only played once, like three years ago, and whatever. <laughs> The, the novelty wore off in about five minutes. And I said, all right. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> so there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. So i like to say thank you for tuning in and uh, hanging out with me today. I'm your host, Manny Allegretta, from the American Podcasting Center in New York. Be good and be safe. This has been The Racing Podcast. <laughs>